With people living close to each other and little social distancing, jails have all the elements to be hotspots for COVID-19. Tonight, CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is digging deeper into a new study. It finds people already in jails in our state are staying there longer, and that could lead to a public health risk. Since the pandemic started, there's been a drop in the number of people jailed in North Carolina waiting for trial. But as it's gone on, those who remained behind bars were spending more time there. From an average of less than a week before the pandemic to up to 25 days in June. Those longer stays were a result of backlogs in court systems, built up when judges paused trials last spring to limit the spread of COVID. And so they're not actually able to process these, these criminal cases. And so people who are being detained pre-trial are, are staying there for longer periods of time, which is, of course, um, a, a public health risk. Correctional facilities have been hotbeds of COVID spread. In North Carolina, they've accounted for nearly 10,000 cases. More than one in five county jails here is dealing with an outbreak right now. The virus doesn't stay inside the walls of jail cells either, with studies showing it also spreads to everyone else on the outside. If the density isn't reduced inside the jail, it, it really poses a risk to the surrounding community as well. The authors also found a drop in how many people wind up back in jail after they've been released. They say that means a lower risk to public safety and could be a solution. I explain how that might look online in my story at CBS17.com. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary.